Hypnosis to Change Your Life with Dr. Steve G. Jones. Okay, so when you're working with a client, would you ever use the same induction twice if it was successful during the first session? Okay, great question. And a lot of times what happens is when I'm working with a client, I will use uh, an induction and they'll really respond well to it. For example, the beach induction is very popular. So I'll have someone, you know, imagine themselves walking along a beach and the sun setting and they and they really like that. And but at the same time, when that induction's happening, they're going into hypnosis. So they're going into hypnosis and they're pretty much completely checked out by the time I get to the programming part. Now the programming part's different every time because session one, we might be working on confidence. Session two, we might be working on motivation. Session three, we might be working on you know what we're really ramping up for, which is something like weight loss or stopping smoking or what have you. So each of the sessions is actually different. However, the experience of the client can be exactly the same. So if I were to use the beach induction every time, you're walking on the beach, it's a warm day, it's, it's you know beautiful breeze, it's cooling you off and so forth, that would be their experience because some point, at some point in that induction, they're going to check out and they're going to go unconscious or they're going to go in a deeper level of hypnosis, same, same thing. Their consciousness is going to drop or their level of hypnosis is going to increase. So the perception of the client can be like this. Well, every time I go to see Steve, I hear the same thing. I hear a beach induction, and that's all that happens. So I hear a beach induction, and I check out. I go back. I hear a beach induction. I check out. I go back. I hear a beach induction. Why am I paying for a new session every time when it's the same exact thing happening every time? That's their experience from their perception. That's not reality, though. As we know, in reality, what's happening is that once they're under hypnosis, there's a different script each time. There's a different program that's going on. So really, you've got two different things to look at. You've got efficacy, which is the power of what you're delivering, and you've got customer perception, which is something also very important and can affect efficacy because if the customer's not satisfied, they're not going to keep coming back. If they're not going to keep coming back, they're not going to get the results they want. So it gets a little bit more complicated. So. In this particular scenario that I'm creating, you have something that works really well. You have this beach induction that works really well. Ideally, you would just rinse and repeat and use it every time. However, you don't want the client, the customer, who's paying you money to perceive that you're just doing the same thing every time because they may drop out. Despite the fact that you're telling them something different every time, all they're hearing is the same thing and then they check out. So. You need to either A, make that very clear to them that I'm using this every time because you respond really well to it. And this is all about getting the results you want. But I am doing something different in the programming. If they're not, if you perceive that they're not accepting that, then you need to change inductions. You need to do the beach induction one time, uh, a walk in the woods induction the, the next time. Uh, perhaps they imagine themselves you know, floating in space. It's their imagination, so they can be anywhere they want in their minds and you can mix it up a little bit. However, uh, as far as the power goes, uh, finding one induction they, they respond really really well to is the way to go. Now, another consideration is not everyone likes every induction, so you have to ask them ahead of time. If you use the woods induction one time and you think, okay, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, I'll use a beach induction this time, close your eyes, and then suddenly they're on the beach. Well, that may not be appropriate because maybe they were attacked by a shark. Who knows? Maybe somebody came up to them and you know started a fight with them at the beach. Who knows? They could have a bad uh, connection to the beach. So you always ask ahead of time. You say, are you comfortable with the beach? Do you like the beach? Oh, no, I hate the beach. Most people like the beach. 99% of people love the beach. You get a lot of mileage out of a beach induction. So those are the considerations uh, when talking about inductions. And that's the, the detailed answer to whether or not I use the same induction more than once. Great. Hypnosis to Change Your Life with Dr. Steve G. Jones.